Hey Chipsuke. Uh Right, today is 15th of March, uh, so that means that um, it's the day before Sam, Auntie Sam's birthday, who's on the 16th of March, and she will be 43 years old tomorrow. Um, and what else is happening? So today you should have received a parcel from a tour from Amazon, and it had a magician set in it, and um, I think a Doraemon game as well. So I hope that you received those today. I did try to call you, but I couldn't get through. And I hope you could show Kai your skill, um, and uh, you had good fun. And I look forward to seeing how you do your magic sometime soon. Okay, so um, it's time to start. It's time to carry on with our reading, um, and today is chapter five. Um, I do hope one day you watch these videos. Okay, here we go. So, chapter five. Summer holidays. The Easter holidays came and went, and the summer term began at school. My grandmother and I had already planned to take our summer holiday in Norway, and we talked about almost nothing else every evening. She had booked a cabin for each of us on the boat from Newcastle to Oslo at the earliest possible moment after my school broke up and from Oslo she was going to take me to a place she knew down the south coast near Arendal where she had spent her own summer holidays as a child nearly 80 years ago. All day long, she said, my brother and I were out in the rowing boat. The whole coast is dotted with tiny islands and there's nobody on them. We used to explore them and dive into the sea off the lovely smooth granite rocks. And sometimes on the way out, we would drop the anchor and fish for cod and whiting. And if we caught anything, we could build a fire on an island and fry the fish in a pan for our lunch. This is There is no finer fish in the world than absolutely fresh cod. What did you use for bait, Grandmama? when you were fishing mussels she said everyone uses mussels for bait in norway and if we didn't catch any fish we would boil the mussels in a saucepan and eat those were they good delicious she said got the phone on charge that's a bit tricky cook them in seawater and they are tender and salty I think Hugo likes salty food, like soy sauce. Dogger. What else did you do, Grandmama? We used to row out and wave to the shrimp boats on their way home, and they would stop and give us a handful of shrimp each. The shrimps were still warm from having been just cooked, and we would sit in the rowing boat, peeling them and gobbling them up. The head was the best part. The head, I said. You squeeze the head between your teeth and suck out the insides. It's marvellous. You and I will do all those things this summer, my darling, she said. Grandmama, I said. I can't wait. I simply can't wait to go. Nor can I, she said. When there were only three weeks of the summer term left, an awful thing happened. My grandmother got pneumonia. She became very ill and a trained nurse moved into the house to look after her. The doctor explained to me that pneumonia is not normally a dangerous illness nowadays because of penicillin, but when a person is more than 80 years old, as my grandmother is, then it was very dangerous indeed. He said he didn't even dare to move her into hospital in her condition, so she stayed in her bedroom and I hung about outside the door while oxygen cylinders and all sorts of other frightening things were taken into her. Can I go in and see her? I asked.